What's happening everybody? Lemon72 here and I've got a lot of requests on how to root your i747 or i747m whatever variant uh, on 4.1.2 and without further ado let's get into it so first thing you're going to want to do is of course you know make sure that your uh, you've got USB debugging on there we go, let's turn it on. Also, just to make sure you guys see that it is 4.1.2. And the method here is to simply flash uh, CF Auto root, which where I got it from is simply from HDA under a thread for the uh, stock thing here for Talos Rogers Fido. Oh, okay. Essentially, here this MP5, which is a .tar file format for flashing uh, the ROM or Roger stock ROM, in that will also contain CF auto root. So essentially, download that if you want. Uh, after you do that, just extract it, delete the Rogers firmware unless you are with Rogers, because it's gonna mess up your Bell, Telus, and AT&T, of course, because they're totally different bootloaders. And once that's done, just keep the CF auto root.tar file. It'll be in a separate folder. And without further ado, let me just show you guys that it is completely stuck. As you can see, no super SU. Oh. And you can see I'm not hiding anything, so there we go. So without further ado, let's do it, guys. So first thing, turn the phone off. Second thing, make sure you have, and I'll zoom in here. There you go. So you have Odin running. Let me just move that down. Okay. So I've gone ahead and I put in the PDA box right there. You can see it. That's where you'll put the .tar file, the CF auto root. And then you'll see some text here show up. And once you see that, all you need to do is put your phone into download mode. So in order to do that, you're going to need to hold down the bottom volume rocker and home button at the same time and then also once you have those both held down press the power button until you hear it vibrate and then let go so as you can see I'm still holding it down and here we go so it tells you right here to continue you know volume up so volume up and there there we go we're in download mode and now from here all we need to do is flash CF auto root so now connected to your computer you should see a dot uh, what is it oh, sorry a, yeah com number show up or rather you should just see a thing that says com show up and that right there will tell you hey it sees the device now once you do that all you need to do is start so you'll see it's gonna flash And this is foolproof. This will work for all the variants. It'll, it should never fail. It has never failed me once yet. So, so I'm going to show you guys. This is what's happening right here. So this is what happens after it boots. So just hold it for a sec. Actually, I'm just going to put it back down here. So just give it a minute and then I'll show you guys that it is rooted. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, as far as I know, if you're sitting on 4.1.2, uh, you will not be able to flash certain ROMs. That's the thing about being on this software, or firmware rather. If you want to start flashing ROMs like CM, you're going to have to backtrack to 4.1.1, at least for the Canadian variants. I'm not too sure about AT&T, but I can only assume they're probably among the same boat, seeing as they're usually all the same. Okay, so there you go. So let me just show you guys. It is indeed rooted. And there you go. So Super SU, the phone is now completely rooted. So the thing to remember, guys, is I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong, though in this situation it shouldn't go wrong. Uh, last thing to reiterate here, download the MD5 file there, I'll include a link in the description so you can get to it, 
delete the uh, Rogers firmware unless you have a Rogers phone. This is just in case anything ever happens, you can go backtrack to your firmware. Uh, if you have, you know, if you're Bell, Telus, or AT&T, hopefully you guys already have. Otherwise, I have a previous video on how to root on 4.1.1 that has a link to where all the uh, firmwares are, and that's pretty much it. So, without further ado, guys, I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.